Listen, I want everybody to pay very close attention right now. I want you to answer a question for me right now. Blue Dragon. The Last Remnant. Lost Isles Odyssey. Alan Wake. Viva Pinata. Ho. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Viva Piñata, one of my favorite Xbox games of all time. But the list keeps going on. If an in Discovery. Um, wow, it, the list is so small. Wow. And those games came out in the beginning cycle of the Xbox 360. Wow. 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 This is horrible. No games. Wow. Crackdown. Uh, shit. The Xbox. How could you be an Xbox fan with, with a lineup like that? Huh? Okay, check it out. Sony. Crash Bandicoot. Siphon Filter. Final Fantasy VII. Um, come on. I mean, the list goes on and on. Shin Megami Tensai. Nocturne. Uh, Devil's Summoner. Uh... Oh my god, there's just too many games. Too many fucking games on the PlayStation side. You know what I mean? I'm not fumbling with my words. I'm, I'm just coming out and just saying the games. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Final Fantasy X. Uh, I mean, Parappa the Rapper. Aunt Jeremy Lammy. Uh, I mean, there's too many games. I mean, I, I'm having a clusterfuck of games because there's too many. Now, when you go to the Xbox side, it's like, okay, what do we have? Let's see. Let's see. Um, Jade Empire. Uh, you know, I hope you guys are listening to everything I'm saying right now. Now, let's do that for the Xbox One. Pay attention now. Pay attention to what I'm saying right now. If I'm moving too fast for you, tell me I'm moving a little. You're moving a little too fast because the Xbox community seems to be a little slow at times. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you now. Pay attention now. Pay close attention. I want. Listen, Scalebound, Ori in the Blind Forest, Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break, Crackdown 3, uh, that's all I can think right now, that's all I, that's all I, I know. Now, I'm going to give you five seconds and I want you to put those two things together. What did those two things have in common? I'm going to give you five seconds. All right, it's over. I hope you were paying attention. With, with the games of the Xbox 360's past, including an Xbox original game with the Jade Empires, and the games of tomorrow... We got to understand that history always repeats itself. You see what I'm saying? Microsoft doesn't know their fan base. You know, I, I think if Microsoft don't make the mistake that Sony did and listen to the YouTube uh community because if you do that Microsoft you will fail you will fall you got to understand everybody Microsoft fanboys do not like these games they don't at the end of the day they despise these games they don't like them Yes, they are going to try. This. Listen, listen. They are going to try to convince themselves. No, 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 no. Listen. They are going to try to convince themselves, not you. Not you. They're not going to try to convince the, the, the person who is looking to pick between which council. No. 
they're really trying to convince themselves that they want a Sunset Overdrive, that they want and are going to enjoy the scale bounds, that they want and are going to enjoy the quantum breaks. Hmm? Don't think that when they do these podcasts and they're naming off the list of games that this is the shit that they're excited about because they're not. Don't talk like them because you're not. This community is probably the... You, you got to understand, Not my, my brother Zaire, he said it yesterday. There was no Xbox community until he came. Zaire came last year. Huh? When I was making my Sony bashing videos, listen up, listen to what I'm saying now. When I was making my Sony bashing videos, right? When I talked to Sony in disappointment, it, it wasn't hate. You know, Xavier, you're a big hater. No, those weren't hating videos. Those were 2015 videos. Like I'm so fucking I'm so fucking ahead right now. I was when I was talking that shit in 2008, I was so fucking 10 to 15 years ahead of this bullshit. Oh my fucking god, I'm so fucking nice. I am so fucking nice, yo. I'm talking 2015 shit in 2008. I was the one saying the resistances, the, the kill zones and the, all those other bullshit was bullshit. And now when you look at that Japanese expo and you've seen the, the the Japanese games, and you've seen the hype behind it, and you even seen that PlayStation X, where the dude came out on stage, and I actually applauded him, and I, I paid homage to him, and I actually liked the guy a little bit more, I didn't really like him, but he's cool, but he said, you know what, the home, you know, Japanese is the home of, 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 of PlayStation, we all know that, you know what I'm saying, he, he came out and even said that shit, and I gotta give him props to that, because Sony was really dodging the shit, and then when he said that Sony was the home of the, of the Japanese games, he showed Persona 5, huh, but anyway, to get back to my point, there was no community, what was I saying anyway, I don't remember, I done got dodged and flipped, there was no community, right, with no community means... Okay, I, I remember now. I remember, I remember. There was no community, right? And I used to make my Sony bashing videos. And what did I always ask for? Japanese games. I've always applauded them for the Yakuza. I always applaud them for the for the Yeez games. The, the Japanese games, the Nino Kuni. Uh, uh, White Knight Chronicles. I, I've always praised them for that. I've always given them the props for that. Because that's where, the you know, that was the home... The place like my man said the home of PlayStation was in the Japanese. So you knew why Zobi was mad. You know what I'm saying? The, the Sony fanboys at the time were trying to tell me I was wrong, and now they're telling me I'm God. Because, I, I like I said in 2008, I predicted this shit. I predicted this shit. I woke up. I woke up like this. You got to understand, now I want you to ask the Xbox fanboy. I want you to ask them all. I want you to ask... My brother, Zaire. I want you to ask the showstoppers. I want you to ask the um, the John Doe's. I want you to ask the crap gamers. I want you to ask the, the, the Inkerman V's. I want you to ask the Kid Smooths. I want you to ask Worry Ward. I want you to ask all of them. I want you to ask all of them. What is your favorite genre? What is your favorite genre? Now, they're going to dodge and dip and flip and kick flip. Not, and I'm not saying this to be disrespectful. I'm just saying I want you to ask them. And they're going to dodge, flip, and kick flip. You, with Zobi, you know why I was mad. With Zobi, you know why I'm happy. I'm not just going to be... Listen, I just don't come off of the list and say, you know what, we got the Order 1886. We got uh, uh, Knack. We got the Resistance box set. We got Kingdom Hearts. No. When I come on this shit, you know what I like. And you know what I don't like. I'm not I'm not going to make videos trying to convince myself to get excited for games that I don't like. We got Uncharted 4. I, no, this channel, will, you will never see no bullshit on this channel when it comes to anything like that. You will never see that, ever. You wouldn't even see it in the podcast where I'm talking. In the podcast that we did last week in the PlayStation podcast, I, we all said the shit that we love. 
Huh? Even including me. Now, I want you to go and ask these guys. These are your Xbox leaders. I want you to go ahead and ask them. Ask them what your favorite genre is. If they say, you know, <laughs> whatever genre Microsoft makes. Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like right now. Uh, that's what it sounds like. Whatever genre Microsoft makes, and that, that's what I support. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not a community, man. That's not a community. That's a joke. It's a joke. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all smoke and mirrors. You, that's why I said you got to stop coming into the situation sensitive. You got to be cool-minded like Zobi 70. You can't come in with a sensitive mind because a sensitive mind can't think. A sensitive mind doesn't know. A sensitive mind is only just going to respond in another sensitive way. You got to come in like Zobi 70, yo. You got to think. You got to think what these motherfuckers are doing. Lost Odyssey, Blue Dragon, Last Remnant, Viva Pinata. Oh my God. I would buy an Xbox One for Viva Pinata. I'm not lying. I really would. I would buy it. I would, I would buy. I would go to Japan and buy a $200. <laughs> I would go to Japan and buy a $200 Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke I mean it, it, compared to the scale balance in Sunset o I mean Sunset Overdrive is proof enough Sunset Overdrive is proof enough people people I rest my case Sunset Overdrive is, is, is proof enough Sunset Overdrive sales are, are, are abysmal they're poor they're terrible they're an embarrassment it, I mean, Sunset Overdrive is a game that's a breath of, breath of fresh air for the Xbox community. A breath of fucking fresh air. A breath of motherfucking fresh air. And they still didn't go out and support the motherfuckers. I, I remember I was going around on Twitter. I remember before this shit even happened. When they when Crap Gamer came out with the video talking about it's more fun with Madden on the motherfucker. And I said, this community is a fucking joke. Not because Crap Gamer said that, because in the comment section, everybody agreed with him. And I said, you know what? I, that's, what's, that's what really snapped Zobi 70 out of this Xbox bullshit. I said, oh, this is a joke. This is a joke. This, this is a joke. No, it's not trolling. This is a fucking joke. And I said, if Madden outsells Sunset Overdrive, a breath of fresh air, then this community is a joke. And best in belief, Madden is the highest selling shit on the, on the goddamn council. Yes, they'll support. No. They won't support Halo. Halo's a joke. Halo's a joke. The society will support Halo. Hmm? The majority will support Halo, but not these guys. Now I'm not throwing shade. I'm just, it's just, I'm just telling you the truth. Not these guys. I want you to go onto their Xbox Live accounts. I want you to go and look. If there's a way that you can look, can see if they're playing Halo right now, the Master Chief Collection. I mean, you're getting Halo One, the greatest Halo game of all time. Halo Two. Considered to the majority, Halo 2 was the greatest Halo game of all time. Halo 3, to get all the swanky dinky, all the Halos on that motherfucker. Is Halo Reach on there? I like Halo Reach. Only because of that, the black guy, Emil, with the, with the skull the skull and crossbone mask. I want you to go in there and I want you to look at their play hours and I want you to go look at their achievements and I want you to go look and see if they've been playing and shit because they don't support Halo. And the kids who used to support Halo are all grown up now. They're not buying that shit. It's a joke. The community is a joke. This is not trolling. It's a joke. What they're doing is not trolling. It's a complete joke. What was I saying? Blue Dragon, Viva Pinata, Crackdown, you know, Scalebound, Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break. All of them. Are gonna say in the, or, 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 or just going to be washed up into your local bargain bin? <laughs> yes, they're, they're gonna get excited for the halos, and, and that's only because there's the majority loves it, and they're only doing it for for views. 
but you know Halo was a disgrace it, it sold only one million the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out the same fucking year as Halo you know what I'm saying and, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire sold three million in three days Halo Master Chief sold one million in barely one million in one week it's a joke it's a joke they don't support they, they are the PlayStation 3 fanboys right now no they've always never supported but when it came to those the Call of Duty Mattens and Halos okay they went out there and got it you know we gotta give them props on that but everything else is a complete joke it's not trolling it's a joke horrible community ask them what their favorite genre is because they won't tell you a oh, gears of war is my favorite genre that's not a genre it's a game what's your favorite genre i mean they're trying to when they talk about gpus and all this other bullshit exclusive i mean they're talking about orion i mean like how can you bash persona 5 they're in the podcast bashing persona 5 right they're in the podcast bashing scale bound when they have games like orion the blind bullshit games like scale bound that we don't even know what the fuck it is I mean this keep... <sighs> what a joke this is embarrassing if you're an Xbox fanboy this is embarrassing I am embarrassed for you they don't even have a favorite genre and they don't want to come off as do bros by saying you know football games and, 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 and first person shooters they don't have a favorite genre. What don't they like? Do they have anything they don't like? Yo, they're bashing Scalebound, right? I'm in a video with this. I heard a motherfucker bashing Scalebound on Twitter. Motherfucker was like, uh, you know, he wasn't really bad. He was, well, let me put it all together. They're bashing Scalebound, but they're saying this is the reason why they're justifying Quantum Break is going to be a good game. Um, the creators of Quantum Break, they said never made a bad game. You know what I'm saying? This is a long video, but fuck it. They said they never made a bad game. But they'll go around and bash Bloodborne. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, this shows you how much of a joke a community is. It's not trolling. They're a fucking joke. They're trying to convince themselves. That's all it is. It's a dick pulling contest. Look how they treat Phil Spencer. And the people who made Scalebound, check this out. They made Tenchu Stealth Assassin, one of the greatest assassin games of all time. A real assassin game compared to this homo bullshit that you guys are playing with Assassin's Creed. This pedophile bullshit that you guys are playing on. This Assassin's Creed, they're not even fucking assassins. They're in mid daylight fighting motherfuckers. And you had Tenchu Self Assassin, yo. From Software made this. The same makers of, 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 of uh, not Scalebound, Bloodborne. They made the Armored Core games. Remember Armored Core, motherfuckers? Remember Armored Core? Oh my god. Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2s. All of these games are in the tens. All of these games have gotten Game of the Year on somebody's fucking website. All these games are straight up classics. Now, what the fuck is the creators of Quantum Break made that's on the same fucking level as From Software? It's a joke, people. Like I said, don't get emotional. Listen, observe, and handle it accordingly.